Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. All right, YouTube, coming at you on a frosty Thursday morning here, hence the hat and sweatshirt. Uh, Washington's weather sure did take a turn for the worst here, but I'm pretty excited, as y'all know and have been following my build here. I've been putting in the subs, putting in the amps, putting in the batteries, the alternators, you name it, wiring everything up, but it was missing a component. And it was evidently clear after pressing play and turning up the gain that uh, my Hummer on the back sounds like a rattle can because those ZV515s are creating absolute havoc and devastation uh, to the panels of the Hummer. So uh, to remedy that, uh, I have decided to do a sound deadening project and I'm about to unveil what I'm going to be using. And I'm really excited about it because it has really good reviews. I hear a lot of great things about it. Um, so I'm really excited to go ahead and get this uh, put on the Hummer, get it installed, and then do a before and after so you guys can actually see the difference of uh, what this stuff actually does. So without further ado, uh, let's show you what I'm fired up about. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Crescendo Murder Mat. I got 40 square feet of it, um, quite substantial amount here, and it's very, very heavy. Um, it's 80 mil thick, and just the overall uh, presence of it, I think it looks phenomenal. I really like how it looks, and you can tell it's quality. There's a lot of good reviews online, and also some YouTube videos that um, really give uh, justice to this. So I'm definitely looking forward to see the result of how it actually dampens the vibration of the H2, which is absolutely crazy. And then I got some great stuff to fill in the gaps, um, some of the places where this maybe not uh, won't reach. And then I also got some foam. You can get this stuff at Lowe's or Home Depot, and that's just gonna give me a better seal around the edge of the Hummer here. So you got the factory uh, seal here going around the whole edge, all right? So what I'm gonna do with that foam is I'm actually gonna place it on this side going around the whole edge of the H2. That way, when the hatch closes, it's gonna create that much of a tighter seal, right, to give that oppositional pressure to, um, to hopefully prevent some uh, additional vibration that could be caused from it being loose and also get, giving a tighter seal, which should keep more of the sound inside the vehicle. So, hey, you know, at this point, it's all theoretical, but at the end of the day, when I do the before and after video, that's where the, you know, that's where the proof is in the pudding right there. So we'll see how it goes from there. And it's something, if it doesn't work or doesn't, you know, make it any better, I can just rip that sucker off. It's not a big deal. But this, I know for a fact, is going to make a huge difference. Um, you know, Crescendo, they make great stuff. Their murder mat, again, it has great reviews. I know a lot of people use it. So I'm excited to go ahead and get this thing going and get this uh, rocking and rolling. Ha ha. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I got the back plastic trim off of the hatch here. And I gotta say, what a freaking nightmare it's going to be to get the sound deadening, uh, especially deep into here, uh, behind all these uh, <laughs> electronics and wires. I mean, trying to get into the crevices there and let alone get the roller in there and try to roll it out flat. Um, looks like I got my work cut out for myself, so. I am going to put the camera down and uh, start getting ready for a very long day with a lot of bloody knuckles and uh, scraped fingers. So I'll make a progress update here once I get the ball rolling a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot harder than I thought. But uh, hey, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as I was cleaning up all the dust to, before I put down the uh, murder mat, I have discovered some unfortunate damage that the base has caused to the back of the Hummer here. As you can see, this is a metal bracket that actually mounts the rear windshield wiper to the vehicle, and it is completely broken in half. Uh, it is gone, and that is pure metal that was actually busted in half from the vibrations of the base. And that is something that I just really don't even think I'm gonna replace because I'm not gonna use my wheel rear windshield wiper. Um, but that's just really unfortunate um, that that happened and uh, that's the value of you know doing the due diligence on the front end and making sure you deaden your entire vehicle if you plan on putting in some heavy duty base. Um, perfect example right there. Just wanted to show, shoot a quick video of that. All right guys, so I managed on the very first piece to cut my finger on a very sharp edge here. So uh, keep in mind that there are sharp uh, edges when you are installing the murder mat. Uh, yeah, lesson learned. 
So I have completely underestimated this job here, but as you guys can see, I have the first layer of murder mat tucked in behind that back panel there. And that was a job and a half to try to get it in there. I still got to do behind there, behind there, behind there, behind there. And then once I get that nightmare done, then I got to do this panel. And I'm also going to just do around the edges too. Why not? So yeah, this is going to be uh, a lot uh, harder than I thought it was going to be, but I know it's going to be worth it. So let's carry on. So one little bit of good news, I guess, is the fact that it does cut pretty easily. Um, basically just a straight knife, uh, put a straight edge on there and just slice right through it. And it actually cuts very, very simple. So um, that's one positive here after getting a bloody finger and uh, find out that my work is definitely cut out for me. It's nice to know that it's at least easy to trim. So I did read that you are supposed to warm up the metal and warm up the back side of this before you made it together. That way it does have a stronger connection when you go to roll it out. So just wanted to kind of show an example of what I'm doing here just to get it warmed up. And then also I'm warming up the metal before I bond the two together. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I got my hatch done and it was a pain in the ass, let me tell you. I don't have 100% coverage, but I got pretty decent coverage, which should uh, dampen a lot of the vibration. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied overall, but it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be in all honesty. This stuff wasn't bad, but on the inside of the frame there, you know, getting the outer skin of the uh, sheet metal, that was tough because my arms wouldn't even fit in there and I had to bend in very awkward positions. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and then uh, go ahead and fire her up and do a demo and see how she sounds and I'll include it before so we can uh, do a comparison before and after, but I'm pretty excited to test it.